It is the 23rd of the 10th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Any news? Fukushima workers speak out. We hide accidents at the plant. Big surprise there, huh? CNN, health is suffering. CBS, radioactive materials, quote, just pouring right in after cleanup. And basically what the workers are saying is if uh, they remove the topsoil like they're supposed to and scrub the buildings, if there's a rain right after that, all the sediment from the contaminated areas right adjacent to the place they just cleaned up gets recontaminated, blah, blah, blah. It's a pointless situation is basically what the workers are saying. Nuclear expert concern about the structures at Fukushima plant holding up during typhoon. Risk of much, much more severe spread of contamination. Well, of course, if we lose all those tanks at once, that's not going to be a very pretty sight. Uh, they are releasing water even when it's nice out. Japan Times concern mounts at Fukushima. Big typhoons may collide. Francisco may be unable to move due to uh, Likama says forecast high threats of landslides and flash floods um, yeah they're saying Francisco is going to kind of stall out a little bit just south of Tokyo because um, the other storm's going to stall it up a bit uh, but neither one is supposed to hit like the last one did so just going to be a big rain event mostly but again what do these typhoons do to the ocean bottoms they churn them up they churn them up uh, Sailor's horrific Pacific journey goes viral. Smashes record picked up by The Guardian, USA Today, many more. All fail to mention ongoing crisis at Fukushima. By far the world's largest release of radioactivity into the ocean. Now this is the story I put out a couple of videos ago. Uh, the ocean is gone. And uh, about the yacht guy who sailed from... Australia to Japan and from Japan to Hawaii and Hawaii to the United States and he described his journey and the horrific detail that it was as far as the garbage patch that was going on. But again, this goes to show you um, the downplay the mainstream media is using on Fukushima. Uh, they don't want to raise any alarm bells at all. Japan journalists melted nuclear fuel sank into the ground under Fukushima reactors. Irrigated groundwater is flowing into the ocean through the sea bottom springs. It's too late to do anything about this. And uh, that corium doesn't stay in one big blob, okay? There's some, there's some of it still in the reactor. Some of it's down in the building in the pipes and in the cracks. And there's some of it that's actually went through the concrete and down into the surface. And then once it hits the surface, it doesn't stay in like a big blob. It, it branches out kind of like a, a big tree roots, okay, and, and they just keep spreading and spreading and spreading and kind of thing, further contamination, further contamination. Now this is just a few pounds of this stuff, okay, this is hundreds of metric tons times three to be confirmed at least. Contamination levels are possibly higher than Chernobyl from Fukushima disaster, possibly. Human health must be carefully, continuously monitored. Highly contaminated river soil in Tokyo metropolitan area. All these rivers are saturated with fallout. Why? Because they're burning radioactive debris clear across Japan. Every prefecture. They are spreading the wealth. They are spreading the wealth. And they wonder why this stuff is everywhere. They're burying the ash in Tokyo Bay. Japan diplomat... Concern fuel rods in Unit 4 pool are damaged. Have they moved? Transfer process could go on for decades, not months. Catch that. The number 4 fuel removal now could go on for decades. We all know that it already burned. And one of the walls is cracked and, and busted out. <sighs> Fukushima plant braces for super typhoon. Officials admit tough situation could occur. More workers may be drafted in. Cesium levels already spiking in the ocean. And you know they're just going to release more water. Japan cancer surgeon in fear of what's to come after Fukushima disaster. Quote, a terrible thing has happened, but people don't realize it at all. The spin doctors have done their job very well. 
Washington Post, it's an environmental disaster. Radioactivity levels in ocean hundreds of times above ocean or above normal. NHK countries around the Pacific worried about ongoing Fukushima leaks. Government wants testing up to 300 kilometers offshore. I'm sure they want it tested as far away from Fukushima as possible. Newspapers, Fukushima a problem causing concern in the U.S. as radiation crossed the Pacific. The EPA has no comment on projections of radioactive plume hitting the West Coast. No comment, huh, guys? California residents beg officials to act. Come on, guys. Give us too little too late. We need something. Nuclear engineer. Fire may have already occurred at Fukushima Unit Number 4 spent fuel pool. May have. We already know. The NRC documents state this. Explosion possibly due to rods not being covered with water. You think? CBS Evening News. Nuclear engineer fired. Warned about blast. Very similar to explosion you saw at Fukushima in the U.S. Comparison left out when aired by CBS this morning. Now this is the Hanford nuclear site, uh, the big toxic waste dump uh, where they have acres and acres and acres of open ditches just covered with stuff and tanks with the really bad stuff and it's burping all this stuff and they don't have a regulated right, this stuff could explode. And they've been telling us this stuff for several decades. New breaches of Fukushima flowing into the Pacific? Question mark. Uh, New York Times, it's most likely radioactive particles scattered on the ground, possibly by the explosions. Yeah, it did spread it pretty far and wide, didn't it? Already 60 billion becquerels going directly into the ocean every day. Fukushima workers, there was a class at the plant due to the typhoon, not revealed by Teplo. Worried that upcoming storm may cause more damage, and you got to remember all these reports they had earlier, not too very long ago, about the water, the water, the water, the water's rising, the place is saturated, it's just a big cauldron of doom, blah, blah, blah. Well, they had a nice little landslide, the last typhoon, and uh, covered up the road, whatnot. Um, nothing major, but uh, just goes to show you how unstable this ground is. And uh, LA Times, Plutonium. Plutonium, having melted and dropping somewhere, is suspected to be causing contamination of underground water at Fukushima. I agree. And it goes on and on and on, of course. Where's the fuel? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, over to Daily News, Fukushima Diary. Pacific contamination, cesium-137 detected in seawater one kilometer off the Fukushima plant port again with a 14% increase from the record number they had, what, a couple days ago? TEPCO discharged rainwater of two tank area dams again, not even typhoon weather. Clear weather, again, well, this stuff was acceptable levels of radiation for safe release into the Pacific Ocean so it was radioactive but it wasn't that radioactive uh, yeah yeah and it goes on and on about the water in the tanks finally tonight uh, informable TEPCO plans new freeze mission on underground tunnels at Fukushima Daiichi Tokyo Electric has been struggling, struggling to deal with contaminated water both above and below ground at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Tunnels collected onto the turbine buildings have provided areas for the accumulation of water. Additional routes for the movement of the radioactive water have increased the headaches for the utility working to deal with them. And again, that goes to that they did a test run, they built up a mock-up, and it took them a month and a half with stupid amounts of problems to freeze a two meter by two meter block and they couldn't do it uniformly. Now they're saying they can do it uniformly but they got to drill a bunch of holes into the real pipe which is radioactive full of radioactive material so they can take a month and a half and freeze a plug so they can start draining the water out of it. 
I don't think this thing's going to work. But uh, and again, uh, here extra pipes will have to be installed in many places in order to freeze water uniformly. This is one of the hardest parts of the mission, given that the radiation levels, among other conditions, in the real tunnel will prevent long worker stay times. The insanity continues and continues and will continue. What do you do? Until next time, again, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or uh, send me your personal messages. Joy Way can, everybody. I am. Thanks.